Hi everyone, my name is Chloe Gray and I'm Associate Registrar of Loans and Exhibitions at the Autry Museum of the American West. Quite a mouthful. Carolyn asked me to put this video together for you guys to give you an opportunity to see what my job entails. And so I hope that this serves that purpose. Um, I'll just start by talking a little bit about me and how I got to work at the Autry. So I graduated with a fine arts degree um, focused in printmaking and stone lithography. So I have an affinity for works on paper. Um, after college, I worked with a master framer, uh, building frames and uh, making archival kind of framing decisions for people. And so I really got to handle a lot of more um, collections and private collections for people and for the city and stuff like that. So what I really found I liked about that is that it's hands-on and also that I, um, I liked storing and caring for the work. You know, there's something really considerate about storing something safely and taking care of it and I think that's the part that I really like the most. Um, when I moved here to Los Angeles, I worked for a, an art storage facility. So I started on the technical side where I was doing installs and deinstalls with a crew and transporting artwork on trucks. And then I was um, transferred to our storage side where I managed the inventory of like 50 different galleries and all their collections. So I gained a lot of experience there and um, I definitely use all of those skills today. I briefly worked in an archive managing audio and film recording. So the databasing software there was a really good help for the work I do now because we do a lot of uh, databasing work, um, tracking everything through our database and also just paperwork old school um, yeah and that just kind of brought me to the Autry and what I really like working at the Autry um, because I the Autry is a mid-sized museum and so I'm very lucky to work in a, a museum that's you know professional and, and follows this professional protocol of a large museum but that also is small enough that in my role I can do a number of different things and so it it's keeps it interesting. Sometimes if you work for a really large museum you can be a registrar but you're limited to kind of a really focused um, section of that. Like maybe you only do paperwork for loan agreements you know or it's just very focused. So here at the Autry I get to get my fingers dirty in every different you know department and, and collaborate a lot and so that's a lot of the um, a lot of the things that I find really attractive and that I enjoy the most working here with. Um, yeah, and so I guess I'll, I'll talk a little bit about my role and what I do here at the Autry. Um, like I said, I'm Associate Registrar of Loans and Exhibitions, so I work with Sarah Signorovich, and we're a two-person team in the Loans and Exhibitions department. We are in the collections department because we work with the collection and we work with the objects, but we are in our own kind of section because we handle like rotating exhibitions and we handle loans that come in for those and loans that go out to other shows. So um, we don't just deal with permanent collections or permanent galleries that get their objects uh, rotated. So I'm really lucky, like I said, to work with a number of different departments when we're collaborating for a, an exhibition, we work with curatorial, I work with Carolyn a lot. Um, we work with the designers that come up with the complete build outs for each kind of custom um, museum gallery setup. They also do the graphics and, you know, it's like an, an, a one-stop shop for <laughs> exhibition space. We do a lot of the work in-house. In we also work with the exhibits department they actually build and a lot of the um, casework, they refinish the space, they go do all the painting, and they also help with the installs. So they work with our teams to um, help install all the objects. So we work together. And we also work with conservation. So they are making sure that all the objects are cared for from um, that standpoint. And so we, work, we consult with 
conservation and we work hand in hand in installs and um, because our job is to keep the objects safe. Some of the everyday work at my job is condition reporting objects and packing and unpacking objects. Condition reports are an extremely important aspect of registrarial work. Um, keeping a detailed history is paramount when you're talking about collections care. We use the databasing software to record these reports. We also use these reports to officially document any loans coming into the museum, making sure its arrival and departure states are accurate. Another part of my job is packing. We regularly pack objects for travel to other museums and locations. And since each piece is unique, it needs its own custom packing that is considerate of the object's needs. Sometimes it can take longer than you think it will to pack these objects. It's one of those things where like one hour turns into four real quick, but honestly, it's one of my favorite parts of the job. I really like the challenge and I really like caring for the artwork and making sure that it makes it to its destination in, in perfect shape. This is an example of uh, some of the objects I've packed. This is a piece by Shan Goshorn. It's called Hearts of Our Women. The piece consists of multiple paper woven baskets with digital printing on them. So they're really, really sensitive to moisture, to handling, to pressure, to abrasion, all those things. So when packing them, you have to account for that. And also the main basket was really unruly and needed a lot of care and consideration when packing it. Each of the small baskets were lined in a really soft material that wouldn't snag or rub the image off the paper, nestled in their own little slots inside a box. And I really just want to minimize the amount of handling that was required to unpack these pieces and repack them. This piece is a Linda Aguilar basket. It's special because it has a lot of beading and adornments on one side of it. They move, they're fragile, they're delicate. They can't have pressure on them. So you can't just put it in uh, a regular kind of container where there would be any kind of pressure or anything rubbing against the sides of the basket. So this is one of the design solutions we have for shipping baskets with sensitive exteriors. So there's very minimal material touching the outside of the basket and it's kind of secured from the inside. Then that's secured to a tray. It has a lid, the box is wrapped and then crated and then sent. So I guess our main role when we're talking about installations and deinstallations um, our top priority is to keep the objects safe. That's what we are responsible for. The handling of our objects is supervised. Um, we're responsible for their care and we, we are present for every stage of that installation as long as the objects are accessible. Um, if they're finally installed and they're hanging on the wall and you can't really remove them, it's okay. But literally if anything is out or in a cray or anything and it's not under lock and key, we have to be present. Um, and a lot of these are sometimes loans that are for a certain show that we've sourced. So we're also um, accountable to our lenders. Um, so there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about um, the footage that I have for you here. We are currently deinstalling a show called Gold. It's a relatively small exhibition that we will be changing out uh, into a new show. So the deinstall is kind of like the install. So it's kind of just like, if you rewind it, <laughs> you can imagine it in, in rewinding it, then that's what the install is like, I guess. <laughs> um, so during this footage, I'm going to try to track a single object so you can kind of see all the steps involved. We'll see how that goes. Um, there's kind of a, a journey for an object. It doesn't just like come out of the case and get back on the shelf, you know? There's, there's a lot of steps that kind of go into ensuring its safety, handling it, processing it once it's down and so on. So hopefully I'm able to show you some of that stuff.
So this is the exhibition, Gold at the Autry. In this small show, we had a variety of objects on display, textiles, photographs, books, a movie prop, a suit of armor, firearms, a giant gold scale that you won't see us deinstall this day, which you will see in the before photographs of the installation. The process of the deinstallation usually involves registrars and exhibits crew, and sometimes uh, conservators will join us as well. Many of the objects are installed with custom-made mounts that we make in-house. Before the object is removed, we like to review the mount-making notes to help guide us in removing the objects. We also want to minimize the risk of damaging the artifact by trying to remove it in the wrong way. Mounts are made for the biggest objects you can see in a museum, down to the smallest. These tiny mounts held a single earring each in this show. This suit of armor required a team to stabilize and move in stages. Final repacking and processing will happen later, once the object is in storage. That's my job. For the record, I did more than wrap this crate in plastic. After the objects are removed, they're brought to the collection storage area, which has limited access. Once the objects are in storage, they will ultimately be condition reported and packed before being placed back into long-term storage or returned to a lender. So I hope this video gave you some insight as to what my role entails here at the Autry. Um, if you have any questions about it or you'd like to explore it a little more, you can reach out to Carolyn and she can let me know. I'd be happy to help. And, um, I love working at the Autry <laughs> and I love what I do. So hopefully if you go into registration, you find somewhere that uh, really, really engages you and challenges you uh, like my job does for me. Thanks a lot.